Hey everybody, it's John Wilkerson here, and I'm going to go through the process of setting up the Kindle Fire with Alexa. This is the 2017 version. Not only am I going to set it up, but I'm also going to set it up as if you received this as a gift. And I know this sounds crazy. And you don't have an Amazon account. So let's fire this thing up right here. All right, so we're going to choose our language here, which for me is English. Continue there. And we'll connect to the Wi-Fi. And put in our password. Now, I don't know if this is going to automatically connect to my account or not. Hopefully it won't. It's going to run some updates here. Zero percent. Oh, here we go. Oh, now it's installing. So yeah, this is always the bummer part of getting a new device is waiting for any kind of updates to install that have come out since the device has been released. And nine times out of 10, there's normally updates. All right, so this is not me. So we are gonna say no and deregister the device. And now I can go here and I can select new to Amazon and I can say start here. And once again, we'll just go through the setup process here. You can put in your payment information now or you can skip it, which I am going to skip it at this point and then click okay. You put in your residential address or you and phone number, or you can skip it. Again, we're going to skip it. Of course, you would want to put your payment information in there if you're planning to purchase things with the device. And you would want to put your address and phone number in there so that those things that you purchase could get delivered to you. So then you can choose some of these options. I'm going to go ahead and leave these options on. If you're giving this to a child, I would suggest disabling location services and go ahead and leave everything else on. That would be fine. I'm going to leave, look, I'm going to turn location services off for now. Hit continue. And then at this point, you can choose whether or not you want to make your device kid friendly. You can always add a profile later. I'm going to say not now and continue. You can connect your social media accounts. I'm not going to connect any of those right now. And then it will run you through a tutorial on how to use your device. So let's take a look at that. So here's the home screen. It tells you about the dedicated pages. It tells you how to swipe left and right gives you information on scrolling really basic stuff how to access the library in the store and so on and so forth and what the individual icons down here mean on the navigation bar and of course how to use this pull down to get to the quick settings. I can help you. Get the weather, check sports scores, find news and information, play music and more instantly. All you have to do is ask. And we have of course Alexa. Try it now. Just press and hold the home button and ask me what's the weather tomorrow. Not bad. So we'll finish up the tutorial and that's it. The device is set up. I will be providing some reviews and things on this device. I'm looking forward to using it and seeing how it differs from the second generation and even the first generation, both of which, well, I still own a second gen and I used to own a first generation, but I've since sold that. So far, I'm liking what I see. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications when more videos come out. That's it for today, and I will be back another day with another video. Bye.
Sing me a song. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if we never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one. Two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. There you go.